The tax bill, which is now in conference, does three important things. As passed by the Senate, it gives some relief to taxpayers by raising the personal exemption to $800. It provides some reforms and closes some loopholes. And it makes possible some badly needed Social Security improvements. It provides a $100 minimum Social Security payment, a 15% increase in benefits, and lowers to 60, the age at which a worker may voluntarily retire with reduced benefits. I hope the president will not veto the bill, and I don't believe he will. The House conferees may insist, however, on dropping some of the Senate amendments. But if the Social Security provisions are removed from the tax bill, I intend to press for their inclusion in the Social Security bill when it comes before the Senate.